بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Okay, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Peace be upon you. Uh, so we have over here uh, Sister Steph. Yeah, she came here to the Masjid Open House in the Guiding Light Islamic Center uh, along with uh, many, many neighbors who came over here. So I would like to just ask uh, Stephanie, you know, what uh, made you interested to come to the mosque? Um, well, first, I am a teacher at a local high school and we invited uh, our students to come to learn about Islam. Um, personally, in my own life, I've seen a lot of misunderstanding that has led to hate against um, people who practice Islam and I personally want to become more educated so that I can spread the truth and help other people dispel the misunderstandings and accept Muslims as you accept us. Okay, wonderful. And how did you hear about us, the sofa house? Um, I am currently working with another teacher and he had received the information. I'm not sure if it was in an email or in a flyer, but he received it and he spread it with all of our people. So, so, so far, what you have seen, this is a social hour by the way. Yes. We will start the actual presentation. <laughs> uh, what is the experience so far conversing with people and looking at the wonderful space that we have? There is an incredible amount of information and even for someone like myself who I have a, a small amount of knowledge about um, Islam and the practice I have learned so much so far and it's invaluable information that I can spread to help others understand um, the beauty of, of this religion. Wonderful. And last but not the least, uh, what do you think are some of the misconceptions our non-Muslim neighbors and friends may have about Islam and Muslims? Oh, there's so many. Um, the main one that I hear the most is that there's an inherent of violence in Islam, which from everything I've seen and all that I've learned about Islam, that's absolutely not true. And anyone obviously who practices it will tell you that that is not accurate. Um, and that needs to be something that others understand because that's what kind of promotes a lot of the anger and hatred and, and it's not true. Wonderful. Can I ask one more? Yes. <laughs> Alright, you know, uh, many neighbors came today, but I mean this is a big town, thousands of people. So what do you think from your knowledge experience, how can we how can Muslims connect with more neighbors to dispel the misconceptions, educate each other, and uh, to work together for better societies? What do you think, what else can do you think Muslims can do? Honestly, as an educator, I think it would be helpful to contact educa public educational institutions, even private ones, because there are a lot of teachers who, it is our mission to help others learn about the world, not just about our content. And I think that a lot of educators are very important passionate about spreading truth as much as anything else so um, if you contact a lot of our public schools especially at the higher level and high school and things like that um, and kind of get teachers involved with you we might be able to help not only in our schools but coordinate ways that we can set up events that you and others like you can spread um, the good word of the truth. Wonderful. This is so helpful by the way. <laughs> Welcome to the mosque. Thank you. Enjoy the tour, the display and hopefully delicious food. Yes. Yeah, looking for it. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you again for coming here. Welcome. Good work.